Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here. This is uh, my new comic book day haul for October 11th, uh, 2017. Uh, it's cur currently uh, Friday the 13th uh, in October, which is extra cool. Got a couple of creepy books uh, up right now, a couple of my uh, favorite crossed covers. Uh, crossed would probably be... Uh, and I'm, I'm sure there's other things similar, but pretty much the epitome of uh, of gore comics. It's uh, way over the top, uh, doubles the meter, not 11, but way past that. It's, uh, yeah, really bad, really offensive. Uh, I love it. Perfect for Friday the 13th. Uh, this is one of the first uh, books that I came across, my first horror comic, when I started collecting. And I just love these covers. This is Jason Burroughs. These are the uh, from Avatar Press. Um, limited to 500. And I've got a few of these. And they're just in awesome shape. Super creepy. Really awesome covers. <clears throat> and this is my sexy crossed bitch. Now the thing that's really cool. Check out all the wedding rings she's got. So look at her neck. Her hand. Look at her other hand. On her key uh, key ring, so those are her trophies. Super creepy, super sexy, and this is the uh, this is number two, New York Comic Con, limited to fifteen hundred. And then what I'll do at the end of the video, uh, because it's not going to be for everybody. This is crossed plus one hundred. Uh, this is Alan Moore and Gabriel Andrade. Um, this is the, uh, the first arc, six issues, was Alan Moore, and then it went 18 issues total with, uh, like, Cy Spurrier and somebody else, I believe. Or he may, it may have just been Cy Spurrier on the rest of it. Uh, but what's underneath these, uh, is really bad. They're, uh, they came out with, uh, these extreme covers for issues one through six. I got them all. Um, so at the end of the video, which this is going to be super long, I got a lot of books. Um, it was going to be long anyways, but then I also got, <clears throat> hold on, I also got, oh, am I going to knock something over, in stock trades, I wasn't expecting this till Monday at least I thought, and oh man, there it was, so. Uh, the first one I'll show, I guess, will be from that because it's uh, now. If you don't know about in stock trades, um, it is absolutely phenomenal. It's graphic novels, paperback, trade paperbacks, and then they also have manga. Now, the best part about it is obviously the super discount that you get from this uh, place. Also, free shipping on orders of fifty dollars or more. Also, even more of a discount, sometimes way more, like 70% off if you're one of those people that's okay with damaged books. Uh, because sometimes it's barely any damage from what I've seen uh, from some people's damage haul videos. But uh, this first one is perfect for Friday the 13th. Uh, this is really, really creepy. This is I Am a Hero, Volume 4, super thick book. Amazing artwork. This is a zombie apocalypse tale. Uh, and it is just... <laughs> Look at it. It is so creepy. Guys, you have no idea. All these manga books that I'm going to show you guys, if anybody has any you know, hesitation about trying manga, any of these books that I'm going to show would be perfect for getting into it because these are the ones that got me into it. And I just, they are fantastic. Uh, another thing I got uh, is an awesome IPA, Hop Stupid, or it's an ale, from Lagunitas. And this is, uh, yeah, 8%. Really, really good. One of my favorites. Awesome frosted glass. So let's see what she looks like.
Oh yeah. Haha, <laughs> that smells so good. Mmm. So I should have said, if you guys are cool with a longer video, go grab your own beer. <clears throat> well, cheers. <clears throat> Alright, um, so, oh, yes, yes, I'm glad I remembered. But, son of a bitch, I didn't, I forgot the, uh, I forgot your name. Really sorry, we were talking about the few. Uh, cause I showed this, uh, 25th anniversary cover that was, that is not an Ashley Wood, but it's still awesome nonetheless. Was, we were talking about it and he just wanted to see some of the interior. So you may have already done that. You may have already done it, but here you go, man. Great. Great artwork. The snow and the woods bring such great scenery and just the best part about it is the super thick book. Yeah, it's it's a good story. And this uh Sean Lewis, if you like this, give uh Saints a shot. That was really good. That was his, I think that was his very first one. <clears throat> and then he also has another one coming out. I forget what it's called, but it was in, I believe, the uh, not last previews, uh, but the the one before. <clears throat> so I got a couple of number ones. I got a ton of books here. Oh, got this right here for uh, $3. Uh, Simpsons, Treehouse of Horrors, number nine. Now, what I've been finding awesome, and I haven't been looking at the other ones because I want to kind of be surprised as much as I can. Obviously, they're right on the cover. Uh, you may know some of the other names. I really don't, but Paul Dini? Come on. And then check this out. Pin Up by Phil Noto. I've been seeing these crazy names on all of them. Look, look at that. Cthulhu arms with three eyes. I just freaking love it. And then, <clears throat> leave that up there. A couple of uh, ones that I was find that I was able to get uh, from last week. Now, I pretty much get every every Jenny Frizen cover. Well, not pretty much. I do every uh, Jenny Frizen cover that I can get. And I grabbed the other one with uh, just the regular one. And my uh, my owner came over and he grabbed the stack and he was like, "Here, you want this one?" And he uh, he brought out the uh, the virgin uh, virgin variant. I'm not sure if it's like a one in twenty five or anything like that, but I was like, hell yeah, man, for cover price, I'll take it. And then this Francesco Mattina, freaking fantastic. I had to get it on the Guardians of the Galaxy eleven. And then the last of my Clayton Crane connecting covers, just freaking awesome. And that Ghost Rider looks so freaking cool with the flames and then of course gorgeous sexy adam hughes cover um i got a couple others but i'll, I'll just trying to mix some things up here for everybody <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> So I hope everybody else is having an awesome Friday the 13th. I'm going to watch... Uh, oh, yes, I'm glad I remembered. Um, Mind, Hunt, Mind Hunters on Netflix started uh, this morning. And holy shit, is it amazing. It takes place in the 70s. And it is... It, it is these detectives that go around uh, interviewing serial killers when they were just starting to figure out uh, pathology and, uh, you know, why these, why these people do what they do. Uh, and it is freaking no holds barred. They don't hold anything back. It is amazing. Uh, I'm sure exactly what it was like when they, for the people that actually have to talk to, uh, uh, uh to, to people that are, are of this kind of evil. 
really amazing. I'm like five episodes in. I I uh, stopped it halfway through the fifth episode to uh, to uh, do this video. Really, really awesome. <clears throat> okay, so the first one I got today, a new book, um, God Complex. Now, my uh, buddy at the shop was bitching about this because apparently God Complex is a title of a book that has already come out. And I think that that's kind of shitty. Um, I was very hesitant to get this book, but I, I, I am just because I, you know, just to have the first issue. Uh, so if anybody knows anything about that, you know, like, you know, I would think the first thing I do when I'm, when I'm uh, coming up with a concept for a book and a title... is doing a search on whatever I want to call my book. And it wasn't even too long ago, within the past five or ten years, I think that this other book came out. And uh, we, we looked into it. It doesn't have anything to do with it. <clears throat> so I don't know, man. I, I Paul Jenkins is the writer, man. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll let us know in the book. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. But, I, I you know, at first glance, I think it's kind of shitty. But... I'm a sucker for detective Sherlock Holmes type stuff. Um, and I think I read this before, so I'm it, sorry about that. But uh, in the uh, futuristic city of Delphi, a young digital forensics invest uh, shit. <coughs> Excuse me. A young digital forensic investigator named Seneca finds himself embroiled in a bizarre murder of three church acolytes guided with a cryptic mentor, the ruler... Uh, the ruler named Hermes, Seneca, uncovers a stunning conspiracy and a mystery that will turn his entire world upside down. Oh, ooh, excuse me. All right, so that's it for that, and uh, so hopefully we'll hear something. Uh, this right here I'm uh, really excited about because I was actually able, and it's, damn, at least a year, maybe... Yeah, at least a year. I think it was last year's New York Comic Con was uh, this same cover... Ah, shit. I don't uh, remember it having uh, any kind of, uh, like, image comics or anything, so I don't think it knew where it was going to land at that point. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it feels like more than a year later, uh, but we finally have fa The Family Trade by Justin Jordan with an awesome, in my opinion, watercolor. And that's what the interior is, too. It kind of reminds me of a... An even looser art style like House of Penance. Which was really awesome in my opinion. Alright, so The Family Trade. Steampunk, alchemy, and adventure meet the ocean. On an island city in a world where history didn't quite turn out like ours, a hidden family of spies, thieves, and assassins makes sure that the world keeps going. Or they did until Jessa Wynn, their youngest member, managed to start a civil war. So that sounded cool. Uh, show a couple other quick books real quick. This is one from last week. This is The Shadow Batman. Dustin Nguyen is just... I mean, come on, guys. How is he not more... Uh, on people's radar, man. I mean, just look at that. Oh, amazing. And of course, Bill Sienkiewicz, Sienkiewicz, Batman the Shadow, number one. Really love his artwork. And the one that everybody was talking about, Batman the Shadow, number one, Alex Ross. Absolutely bat-tastic. Next one, I haven't read number two yet, it's coming up next for me to read, uh, but this is Ghost Money, number three, from Lion Forge and Magnetic Press. That first issue was really good. And this has been really just a lot different from what I was thinking. Smoketown has been fantastic. If you can get a hold of it, please check it out. It is really good. I have a excuse me, a review of issue one, if you guys go to my, uh, I, uh, I put it in a list, 
but I did a review on it. it. It's so good. More people need to be checking that out. Um, another book that I got. Now, I haven't read the first one yet. But, oh, manga fans. Blade of the Immortal. This is the big fat with awesome spines. Not the awesomest, because one of those is coming up, in my opinion. Maybe the best spines in the business. <clears throat> Sorry if we, uh... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Good page. Good page. Look at that. The wolf and the phoenix, it looks like. Look at this amazing freaking artwork. Ooh, that looked good. Let's see if I can find that. Ah, Blade of the Immortal. <laughs> okay, it's not this one. Uh, I got another one coming up, though. And then we got Baby Teeth, number five. Really great book. Rosemary's Baby for the for the uh, 21st century. Uh, this right here, I don't know if I'm going to read it, but I just got it for the cover. This is Aspen Comics Decimation. Now, I know this is all the awesome ladies of their universe, but I had to get this amazing Sana Takeda variant cover from uh, Sana Takeda does the covers and interior on Monstrous and she does them for um, the Dark Crystal which is amazing and this right here oof. beautiful beautiful cover Supergirl number 14 um, what are the art germ covers Ugh. or is it Addie Granoff Our germ, yeah, I'm tripping. And then this right here, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. So, sometimes Marvel does funny things. And, uh, my shop had this on the wall. Where is it? Um, yeah, my shop had this on the wall for $29.99. But then, like, he needed, he, he did a reorder or something. And then all of a sudden, instead of sending three of the cover that he needed, they sent him three of these. And I even forget which generations it was, guys. And I passed it up because he had 29 bucks on it, $29.99. Um, well, obviously, she's in the middle, so I think this might be the Miss Marvel Generations one. But the connecting covers, I got it for $9.99 and 20% off. So like eight bucks. It's the one in fifty, I think. Fantastic. Now it is very strange how this connecting cover works because there's five books and three of the covers go together and then the other two go together. So it's a the three takes the is the full picture, but then the two is a cropped picture, which is just really weird. Uh you know, me and my buddy Patrick at the shop, we sat there for about, I don't know, probably about 10 minutes just tr looking at this and, and piecing it together and finally saying that's got to be it because it just, it's, it's weird how they did it. Um, I'll put these over here. Next one is an amazing book and this cover right here, I, I didn't see it when I was going through my, uh, I go to comic list. But look at that freaking amazing cover, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Grass Kings, number eight. This right here was really good, guys. Lazaretto, number one. Or, excuse me, this is number two. Uh, but I was really surprised and uh, by the first cover. It was freaking awesome, in my opinion. <clears throat> uh... College Campus, Outbreak, those are all kinds of different drugs. Some of them look very familiar. This right here has been, in my opinion, a great book. Um, 
love the David Mack covers. That's one of my favorite parts of it. But uh, what's obviously turning people away the most, I think, is this is probably the wordiest book in the business right now. Um, and it's every page, and it is, it's grueling, like 30 minutes plus sometimes. It's crazy. It's like, wait a minute, we're going on eight minutes on the one page. But uh, I think it's all necessary, and I, uh, I really enjoy it. I think it's a great book. American Gods, number eight, Neil Gaiman. Um, yeah, that's all right. Another really great book uh, with a fantastic Ben Oliver cover with, uh, that looks like another actress, and I just can't, I can't, uh, I can't place her. Ben Oliver is a ma an amazing painter. Next one, oh, one of my favorite horror books. Mm. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Hop Stupid Baby. Oh my goodness. I am a Houston Astros fan and I am so excited because I've got a lot of family members that are Yankees fans and hey, that's okay. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Go Astros. <coughs> I just hope <coughs> that it's a good series. <coughs> but I'm loving my Astros, and uh, I think they got a hell of a chance. But uh, like I said, I just hope it's a good series. <coughs> it is a little after 5. Game starts at 8. Go Astros. Uh, favorite. <coughs> Man, I'm sorry, guys. Really cool and fitting cover. Creepy. Amazing. Um, Tyler Crook. Amazing Tyler Crook artwork. Harrow County is fantastic, number 26. Everybody should be reading it. They've got some really cool Walking Dead tribute variants. I got uh, Birthright, number 27. I thought that was pretty awesome. Plus, the other cover was kind of dinged up and uh this one just looked awesome anyways i believe it's 108 uh first ezekiel <coughs> next book i'll show you from uh my manga book from uh, in stock trades and this is a good one guys holy crap monster volume four been waiting on this to uh to continue and these this is just a freaking amazing book, guys. So cool. You got like a really cool. I'm trying not to freaking hurt it. Cool effect. Really nice. And you can see it through there. Great artwork. Looks like. Uh, oh, I forget his name. What's his name? Yeah, you guys know. Great story, uh, Naoki Urasawa, Monster, Volume 4. And then I got one more I'll show in a minute from that, uh, from my in-stock trade order. Oh, excuse me. Uh, one of my favorite books, Black, Sci Black Science, number 32. I just love, uh, they did have a Walking Dead tribute to that, but I just love the uh, Mateo Scalera. <clears throat> right, let me let me do a little bit of this. My in stock trade box. Okay. Ooh, my nose is squeaking. You hear that? Yep. <laughs> uh, this has been a really good book uh, from Sarah Vaughn. And Jonathan Luna, um, this may be an ignorant question, but do you think that is maybe Brian K. Vaughn's wife or relation? I don't know. But uh, Luna, is, artwork is really, really good. And the story has been really cool. Uh, Redlands, oh man, I, I got so excited when I first saw this. I thought it was a uh, Tyler Crook cover. 
but it is a Vanessa Del Rey amazing, amazing, amazing cover. Oh. A another goddess with a paintbrush. Redlands number three. Uh, next one has just been an amazing book, one of my favorites. And, uh, you know, again with the, uh, man, the watercolors, I think a lot, I think it's catching on a little bit more. And tell me that's not Daryl. Holy crap, look at that. Absolutely amazing. And even more fitting, because I had to get the Jeff Lemire, uh, Walking Dead tribute cover with, again, the amazing watercolors. And there's Daryl again. It looks like I didn't notice it before, but I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Come on. All right. Next one is a freaking awesome book. We got a few more. Yeah, we got a few more because I still got some uh, DC in my Marvel. <clears throat> this is awesome. Uh, Damien just did a, uh, a Sleepy Reader 666, just did a, uh, a, uh, some books to check out, and he was talking about, uh, uh, Sacred Creatures. Great artwork, great team, and, uh, probably one of those books where you get the most for your money. It is awesome. Uh, another one that I really enjoy, even though I think we got another delay, uh, e even after our two year delay, but look at that. Would you freaking look at, uh, Ryan Bodenheim, I think. Absolutely gorgeous. Does the covers and the interiors. And then another Walking Dead tribute, Wicked and the Divine. Uh, I believe this is, uh, who does this cover? Is that Gil uh No, I forget. McKelvey? I think it's McKelvey. Awesome artwork. Oh, yeah. Um, so then, I'll show you my last in-stock trade book before we do the, uh, just the rest of them. But this right here, uh, Vagabond. These are the Viz Big. Is that what they are? Yeah, the Viz Big Volume 2. Oh, is it upside down? No. But this right here, guys, I believe they're all connecting, are the best spines in the business, in my opinion. I've seen uh, some people's videos where they have all of them. And this book is just immense. It's over 600 pages, guys. And then in stock trades is normally like nineteen ninety nine. I think it's eleven ninety nine or thirteen. No, yeah, eleven ninety nine. Oh yes, look at this artwork, guys. It is absolutely incredible. <clears throat> Takehiko Inoue. Based on, uh, so this is the story of Miyamoto Musashi, uh, the real life, uh, Miyamoto Musashi. And this is just maybe the most incredible Japanese samurai manga of all time. I mean, holy, holy shit, guys. Look at, ah, look at that. Every page. It doesn't matter. You see this? Oh my god. Ah, I'm so happy to have that. Mm. Alright. I got my, uh, awesome, uh, Action Comics 989 Lenticular. Batman Metal, number three. Ooh, Dark Knight Metal. <laughs> Mr. Miracle number three. Great cover. Love his old school 1989 Batman t shirt. Oh. A couple more. 
Detective, com uh, yeah, Detective six, 966. Yeah, let me get this down. They're looking a little sketchy. <clears throat> the amazing covers of, uh, I believe this is uh, Emanuela Lupacino. Uh, Superwoman 15. Excuse me. Uh, the amazing, well, there's been more amazing. But I still really love them. The next one, oh my goodness, is so beautiful. I can't wait for that. Uh, Wonder Woman 32, Jenny Frizen covers. And then uh, there was only one, or I think there was two of these left. Uh, so I don't, I didn't check to see if it's like a, maybe a 1 in 10 or a 1 in, it's not a 1 in 25 or anything like that, but uh, I don't know why there was so many uh, less of these. This is awesome. John Tyler Christopher, I think it was, uh, what is it, uh, JLS, Jesse, had uh, had John Tyler Christopher on there. And this right here I'm really excited about. I've been loving uh, Donny Cates' stuff. Uh, but this is a tomahawk, and this is a freaking giant magazine size. You can see how much, yeah. Yeah, it's way big. Look, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's awesome. A tomahawk that came out in heavy metal. And uh, this is issue zero, so, and I think there's going to be more, which is why that, that came out now. Okay, so behold, Puny Earthlings, a deluxe oversized collection of the original uh, story originally serialized in Heavy Metal magazine. This is how far are we? Over thirty minutes. This is the complete adventures of the Cyber Berserker and his mighty Atomahawk. Join them on their quest to free their imprisoned god and find out why Grant Morrison calls it a screaming black hole. Feedback squall of death metal, Kirby, cosmic, energy spinning straight towards your prefrontal cortex. Uh, Donnie Cates, Ian Betterman, uh, 4J style, super heavy 21st century mythology of blood, sentient steel, and rebel circuitry. Awesome. I'm really excited for that. And the uh, other super cool thing is the... Uh, ba 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 ba.